Welcome back to Mr. Dennis's class. Today, we're gonna to be trying something new. Today, we're gonna to be making cookies. Now, this is a really easy recipe that you can do with your mommies and daddies at home. Usually, cookies are really hard to make. They take a lot of time and you need a lot of different ingredients. Ingredients are all the different things that you need to make your food. When your mommy's cooking at home, she'll need a lot of different ingredients to make sure that the food is good and tasty. For these cookies, you'll only need two ingredients. So, let's get ready to make some cookies. Uh, hmm. Where are we gonna make these cookies? Uh, hmm. Oh, let's go to the kitchen. All right, come on. So here we are in my kitchen. So to make these cookies, we're gonna have to bake them in the oven. So the oven can get very hot. So make sure that your mommies or your daddies are the ones who use it. Before we get started, we're gonna get our oven going. So again, mommies and daddies will set that and we're gonna set it to 350 degrees. So this first part, we'll be able to get the kids to help out with the cookies. And with that, do you guys remember how many ingredients we said we could use? Hmm, two ingredients is all we'll need. Let's find out what those ingredients are. Here we have two bananas and some oats. Usually you use oats to make oatmeal. With these, for the mommies and daddies, make sure that this is the one minute oats. Cocina para un minuto. And that's all you need for these cookies. But if you wanna add some more things in, you can. Today I'll try adding one more thing. What else do you think I could add? All right, I grabbed some stuff. Hmm, let's see what we could put in cookies. What would you wanna see in cookies? Let's see, I got some ketchup. Hmm, I got some chips. Chocolate chips. Hmm, a steak. Hmm, ooh, maybe some cheese. You like cheese in your cookies? Hmm, let's see. Which one of these should I pick? Ketchup, the chips, chocolate chips, a steak, or some cheese. Hmm. You know what? Let's go with the chocolate chips. All right, so how are we gonna make these cookies? Well, we're gonna mash them up into a nice big bowl. There's our bowl, and next we'll need a fork. So, oh, there we go, there's our fork. One other thing I forgot to mention, before you do all this cooking, make sure that we're washing our hands before we do all of this. And also, I have one cup here to get one whole cup of these oats. So let's bring the camera a little closer so you guys can see how to do it. So I'm gonna put the bananas in one and two. Next, I'm gonna get my oats and I'm gonna pour one whole cup. See that here? And be very careful so it doesn't go all over the place. One <laughs> cup. Oh, a little messy. That's okay. So one whole cup. Oh, maybe a little bit more. All the way to the top and into the bowl with our bananas. From there, we're gonna mix this all up. With a fork, we're gonna mush it all together. Mix it up be nice and strong with it. Keep going till those bananas are all mushed up and those oats are all sticking to the bananas. When you're done, it should look like this. And let me show you how we get it to the oven. Before we get started, I'm gonna add a little bit of our chocolate chips. Maybe I'll get my cup. Pour in a little bit, not all the way, or that might be too many. Maybe about halfway. And I can pour this on in, mix it up, and all of this should make about 10 cookies. Let's see if we can count and make 10 cookies. Place them out onto our sheet here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so only eight cookies before I said 10 but this just wound up being eight cookies. Again, they don't really look like cookies yet. We still have to cook them in the oven. 
So we have our cookies ready. Again, when we put them in the oven, this should be something that our mommies or our daddies do, okay? So into the oven they go. There we go. And they're gonna cook for about 15 minutes, okay? This is very, very hot. I don't wanna touch it with my hands. All right, there we go. And I'm gonna let these rest for a couple minutes and we'll see how they taste. So these took a couple extra minutes to cook. I think because I made them a little bigger than they're supposed to be, but that's okay. Let's give it a try. Hmm, pretty good. So there we have it. I hope you guys give it a try and let me know how it goes. All right, bye. Hey.